Tariana Crisp and Jane Simmons joining us here. Uh, Jane, I got. I mean, it, you could host this media day <laughs> at this point. I mean, what, this is your third media day? Yeah, it is. Yeah? Okay. Do you want to just ask us some questions? Because we're, we're good. So how is it going <laughs> so far? <laughs> you got it. No, it's... Um, I just got to say, it's, it's great to see you guys. And I know we just heard from your coach and talking about, you know, singing your guys' praises and everything that you've been putting in the off season and what you bring to the, the floor. But for you coming into this year, um, what's your mindset? What were you working on in the off season and, and what excites you about this group? Well, of course, I've been working on the court, but I think mainly I've just been focusing on what's inside the mental. I think I had a lot of downfall during games just because of myself not so much because of the other team or what's going on, just making sure that I'm good mentally and I'm like telling myself, you're good. Like everyone makes mistakes. So just trying not to be so hard on myself is the first thing. And then obviously I've been working on my three point shot and just being a leader on and off the court. Trey, a year ago, the last time we saw you was an overtime loss to UCLA at the Pac-12 tournament, which I, I would have to think propelled you into the off season played 42 minutes in that game. What did, what did that game and that experience do for you heading into the off season? Um, honestly, it just pushed me to want to be better for the next season. I mean, I know that loss kind of hurt my team and me as well, but it honestly just, it gave me that extra motivation and it just told me like, keep working, honestly, yeah. All right, we will open it up to questions from the media. If you have a question, please raise your hand. Christine will call on you. Cindy, am I right? Cindy Brunson, Pac-12 Networks, I stray. Your shoulders look broader. I'm not kidding. Thank you. Um, PG1, I know Ty's been in your ear. What did you do over the summer to improve your game to embrace this role? Um, I just been working every day of the week, putting on my grind, been in the gym, the weight room, all of it, just trying to be better for the next season for my team. And training as well like I knew for me I wanted to be better I knew I could be better from last season so just working on my shot working on getting inside and being tougher working on my defense as well. Jaden for you um, a year ago you're 20th in the country in minutes played I mean there were games so many games you just didn't even come out at 37 minutes a game how do you prepare for that in the off season? and how do you prepare for you know just the, the grind that will be this season especially without Ty? Yeah, I mean, I've just learned to take care of my body. Even though I hate cold tubs and all the extra <laughs> stretching, I'm still like, you have to do it in order to stay healthy, to play all those minutes, you know. Each game, I just told myself, like, go get heated before the game, get taped. I'm making sure that I'm getting everything rubbed out so that I'm ready to go and that I'm there for my team whenever they need me. Cindy? Jaden, for the first time, I think, since you've been on campus, you have the luxury of bodies. <laughs> 14 players on the roster. What is that like now, and how has that changed how you see the floor? I mean, it's, it's different. Like you said, like, it's just so many bodies we have. It, we weren't used to that last year. We just had to go with what we had, and now we have so many people. Like, we can go deep into the roster, and you can trust everyone, rely on everyone to just be there, have your back go hard. And I mean, I think it starts in practice because we always talk about getting each other better. How are we going to get better if no one's pushing you? And it's just good to see that every day during practice. I re I'm really enjoying the new players and how we're all getting along. Coach A mentioned that you've got some family history. Obviously, your parents both went to ASU. Your dad played football. He uh, He's in town here. He's the coach, the DB coach of the Vegas Raiders. Am I right yeah. about that? Did you Have you gotten a chance to catch up with him? Did you go to the game last night? I didn't. I, we left um, yesterday night, but I did get to talk to him. I told him congrats. I know that was his old team that he played, yeah. so he was excited. And it was just good catching up with him. That play at the end of the game by the D-back for uh, the Raiders was pretty <laughs> yeah, exceptional. It was, all <laughs> it was all coaching. It was pretty yeah. exceptional. Trey, for you, um, you know, a lot of people when they go to college and they make the decision they want to go far away and just, you know, live a new life. You live th a 30-minute drive from, from Goodyear, right? What's it like to be able to be that close to home and be able to go home but have your, you know, your family and friends come see you play? Um... It's a great feeling. I mean, that was a big decision for me. I just wanted to be somewhere where I knew I could go home or I have family and friends here, people I can count on, they can count on me. Um, 
my mom moved, so it's no oh, longer nice. home for her no more. But for me, I just think it's great. I'm able to go back to my high school and see some of my high school teammates play and things like that. What's the challenge of having 10 new teammates? I mean, I think you talk chemistry is such an important part of, of basketball. So how do you cultivate that? How do you create that? And, and just kind of what has is, what is that process been like in this offseason? I mean, it's just nice having a diverse team. Like, we're able to just connect on different ways. And you learn stuff about different cultures. And it's just that I think that's what, like, unites us, just everyone wanting to learn how to connect with each other. And I think that's the best way to do it. And that's what we've been doing. And I mean, the team is just so open, like everyone hangs out, like we're always laughing. I mean, they love TikTok videos, I'm not in them, but <laughs> it's just, I don't know, we're just really united right now. And you know, we still have ways to go to still connect, but it's just change, which is what we need. For you guys, when you, you look at the preseason media poll and, and you're chosen or voted 12th, do, do you come into every day at practice with a chip on your shoulder or, or how do you, how do you absorb that in addition to losing tie to think where we're going and how we're pu pushing through this thing? Um, honestly, like you said, it's just a chip on our shoulder. We go into practice every day wanting to be better than last season. And for everybody that's coming in, they just want to be better and help us to win and things like that. What's the one thing that you want everybody to know about the ASU Sun Devils coming into this year? We're coming. That's, that's all I can say, we're coming. <laughs> Yeah, I think just change is going to be our word. Like, it's going to be different. Yes, we're going to leave the past in the past, but like you said, that chip on our shoulder will always be there until season starts, but also just being reminded that this is a new season. Like, yes, we want to prove stuff to people, but we're just wor more worried about ourselves right now, and I think that's what's keeping us together. The thing about Coach A is every time she walks in a room, I, I feel like this giant sun just walked in, and you just feel like it's a super upper. Is she always like that, or does she have a bad day? She's always like that. She comes wow. in with positive I can just energy. wear you down, can't it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, she'll tell us like it is whenever we need to, but you see her coming to practice, playing music. Like, she just brings that energy, and it's just, like, nice having that and seeing that. What I mean, what, yeah, what is it like playing for her? Because I think we get to be around her and, and get to interview her, but, like, being in this program and watching her come in and take this thing over in her first year, what, what would you say... As, as you've watched her kind of even evolve just in the time that she's been in Tempe? Yeah, I mean, obviously, this that last year was my first year with her, so I didn't know how it would go. But just I knew her resume. I knew how she, what she did as a coach and what she's accomplished, which is a lot. And I knew that I wanted to play under her because she just has that experience and she knows how to keep players grounded and make sure that she's there not only on the court but off the court. So... It's just nice playing with her. She has great energy. She's a great leader, and yeah. When you guys look at the season, what's the goal? Do you talk about goals, or, or, or do you just take it day by day? Well, I mean, we take it day by day, but yes, we do have our goals. Like, we want to win. That's the biggest thing. Everyone wants to win, but like, we have to work harder to do it, and that's what we're willing to do, and we're showing that, and I see it, and I can see our goals coming in the future. Trey, do you have any, um, before we go, we've got about 30 seconds left, do you have any TikTok tips for Mary? She's been working on her TikTok videos. <laughs> um, honestly, just be loose. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> well, I can't so really. Loose I have no idea what that is. <laughs> so, uh, need more Ladies, need more thank help. you so much for, for joining us today. We're looking forward to watching you this season. And